Dogecoin is on the rise again, and some analysts are calling for a repeat of the explosive price movements we saw in the last bull market. But what catalyst could actually send us that high, and what could that price target be? Right now, at the time of recording, Dogecoin is sitting at about 8.5 cents still, and it looks like it has bounced off of this upper trending support line, and on the hour time frame, it is starting to make higher lows here. And as long as we can break above about 8.7 cents and not make a head and shoulders, then I think we're going to continue back up to the top of this range, bouncing off of, or maybe even breaking through this upwards trending resistance line. And I'm still looking for that price target of about 12.5 cents, because if I zoom out here onto the daily chart, you can see that we are still in the midst of this breakout from this bullish flag formation, and the MACD just had a positive crossover on the monthly chart, which usually is the indication of the beginning of the parabolic phase of Dogecoin's bull market. So in the short term, I think we're still hopefully on target for that 12 cent price action. But according to this article over on TradingView, it looks like Dogecoin is showing a similar pattern echoing the 2020 behavior, hinting at another 28,000% surge. It says an on-chain cryptocurrency analyst, Ali Martinez, sees Dogecoin exhibiting price movements that are strikingly similar to its performance in 2020. Martinez said the price action of Dogecoin is showing familiar patterns reminiscent of its 2020 behavior. Back then, Doge broke out of its descending triangle, entered a period of consolidation, and then skyrocketed by 28,770%. That's a 288x. And if that's going to repeat again, then I think probably all of us that are watching this video, and hopefully me as well, is going to make life changing wealth. And we're going to ride this Dogecoin joke all the way to the bank. It says, according to the analysts, Dogecoin has escaped a descending triangle and is consolidating. Currently, Doge appears to be mirroring this pattern, having broken out of the descending triangle. It's now in a consolidation phase potentially setting the stage for another significant bull run. Here we have the pattern in question. And as you can see in the last bull market, if I just move the heck out of the way here real quick, Dogecoin did break out of this descending triangle formation before having a consolidation phase moving sideways. And it does look like we are pretty much repeating that pattern right here with us recently having broke out of a similar triangle. And if history is going to repeat, then it looks like we're pretty much just on the verge of the parabolic movement. And maybe, just maybe, Dogecoin is going to explode to 12 cents, but that's just going to be the beginning as retail investors pour back into the market. And as I keep saying, Dogecoin is the people's crypto. So right now, bullish sentiment is pretty much just building up around the whole crypto space with BlackRock and Fidelity and the other ETF issuers being the leaders of the market at this time. But as Bitcoin starts to inch closer and closer to its all-time high, I think retail investors are going to start rushing back in. And hopefully that timing is going to line up perfectly with X payments going live and maybe even Dogecoin being the first cryptocurrency added. Here we have a post on X by Doge Designer, and he says that X has secured the money transmitter licenses across 20 states now. Arizona, Arkansas, Florida, Georgia, Iowa, Kansas, Maryland, Michigan, Mississippi, Missouri, and the list goes on. But Elon Musk responded in saying he's making good progress, but New York and California are the longest lead approvals. Hopefully we'll get these in a few months. And with New York and California obviously being some really big markets, hopefully he's going to get those approvals here pretty soon, and then he might have what he needs to actually make X payments go live. If you go and look at X payments or just search for it on X, you can see that pretty much all of the posts here are about Dogecoin, and the community is expecting Dogecoin to be the first cryptocurrency added, and if it's not the first, then at least among the first three or so. It would make sense to me if we saw Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin all being added at the same time but if Elon Musk's history with Dogecoin and memes is any kind of indication, then maybe he'll just add Dogecoin, making it the first cryptocurrency and causing a stir among the cryptocurrency community. If he adds only Dogecoin, even for just one day, all of the Bitcoin maxis are going to absolutely panic and cry about what about Bitcoin? And during that time, Dogecoin would absolutely explode. But then just imagine him adding Bitcoin and Ethereum the very next day, because then Bitcoin and Ethereum would also explode and give enough 
enough volatility and volume into the market to make Dogecoin actually continue its parabolic movement. This is obviously just speculation and I don't really even think it's going to happen necessarily. I think it would probably be the best business move for Elon Musk if he just added a bunch of cryptocurrencies at one time. But like he said in the past, fate does love irony. And one way for Dogecoin to thrive as the people's currency is for Elon Musk to give this Doge one leg up. Love Doge. Yeah, I mean, I'm mainly supporting Doge, frankly, because I think Doge is like the memes and dogs and, and it seems like has a sense of humor and doesn't take itself too seriously. But what's the potential um, with it? Um, well, I do think actually, weirdly, even though Doge was just, just designed to be like this ridiculous joke currency, the actual total transactional throughput capability of Doge is much higher than Bitcoin. And the fact that there's 5 billion Doge created every year is actually, I think, good for using it as, as a transactional currency. Where is it used as a transactional currency? Anywhere well, yeah, right now? You can now? buy like Tesla merch and SpaceX merch with Doge. And you can also pay for boring company rides in Vegas. Love Doge. So Elon Musk still loves the Dogecoin. And I think that he's probably going to send it to the moon in this bull market as well. Hopefully he's just been pretty much quiet about Doge so that the Elon effect could wear off. And whenever he starts talking about it again, maybe it's actually going to be enough of a shock to the system that it's going to cause Dogecoin to pump again. Even if Elon Musk doesn't add Dogecoin to X, which I think he will, there's still some really huge catalysts in the Bitcoin space with speculation that there might be a massive $114 trillion bombshell. And if this kind of money does flow into Bitcoin, I'm sure this rising tide is going to lift all the boats, and that does mean Dogecoin as well. It says Carson Group, an Omaha-based registered investment advisory group, or RIA, platform, has this week approved four of the 10 new spot Bitcoin ETFs, greenlighting the BlackRock, Fidelity, Bitwise, and Franklin spot Bitcoin ETFs into its $30 billion platform. We feel it's important to offer these products as a result from the two largest asset managers in the industry. Bitwise and Franklin Templeton have committed to being the lowest cost providers in the space and have also seen large inflows and trading volumes. You want to get down? Okay, buddy. RIA platforms that manage $114.1 trillion in assets, according to the Investment Advisor Association's 2023 snapshot, are being prized open to admit Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in what could be a large catalyst for fund growth. It says over half of U.S. wealth is part of a platform and can only use a product once it's approved. We frequently hear, I want access to Bitcoin, but our platform hasn't approved anything yet. And so many people in the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency space have been saying that whenever the BlackRock ETFs were approved, it was going to cause a bunch of money to flood into cryptocurrency because all of these ETF assets would be available to a bunch of investors that have never had access to Bitcoin in the past. And while that is true, and it has been true thus far, that doesn't mean that everybody had access to them right away. Just because BlackRock has an ETF doesn't mean that all asset managers and exchanges and stuff are going to be offering that ETF right away. But now that they've seen billions of dollars of inflows, they're going to become more attractive. And I think now a lot of brokers are going to start offering these assets to their customers as these assets are finally starting to show that they have real potential for growth. As it said, over half of U.S. wealth is in platforms that haven't been able to approve some of these products yet. If even a fraction of over half of U.S. wealth starts to flood into this market, then obviously we're going to be seeing one of the most explosive Bitcoin bull runs in all of history, and maybe Dogecoin can match the gains that it saw in the last bull market, but only time is going to tell. If Dogecoin was to break out of that descending triangle and repeat the gains that we saw in the last bull market, then it could have a price target of $10. So let me know what you think in the comments. Can Dogecoin actually reach a dollar in this bull market or maybe even $10 like that analyst said? Either way, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. But most importantly, don't forget to have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.